What's up guys, Atom Bacon here, welcome back to more Pokemon Crystal. In the last episode, we stormed the Mahogany Rocket Base and stopped the Mysterious Broadcast. And in this episode, we're taking on the Mahogany Gym. And it's a doozy. <laughs> this gym is ice type. I don't really have any concrete counters to ice type on this team. But, lucky for me, a lot of these Pokemon are part water as well. Heck, Seal is just straight water. It doesn't become ice until it evolves. So Thresh's electric attacks, and to a lesser extent, all of uh, grass attacks are going to be pretty good in here. Olive does have to watch out for ice type attacks, though, whereas Thresh resists them. And just barely not a one shot. And just barely not a level. Dugon. This is definitely a step up. Um, yeah, I'll just stay in. Should probably still be able to two shot it. All they do is growl. <laughs> that doesn't even work because all my attacks are special. Oh, now I get a critical hit, of course. No matter, Thresh goes to level 29. I'm gonna switch Mulan into the front. It's like, a lot of my Pokemon have moves that are good offensively, but have typings that are bad defensively in here. <laughs> this one's leading with Dugong straight out of the gate. Mulan technically does have a fighting type move, but honestly, I'm pretty sure Strength is just the better move to use here. See, now, in this situation, Growl actually is a nuisance. I'm gonna go for Rock Smash, see if I can get its defense down, because that will counteract the Growl. <laughs> or I can use Rest. That works too. If I can get some defense drops, it'll be good. There we go. Okay. Now, from that range, Strength will easily two-shot it with the defense drop. I mean, I guess that technically isn't a defense drop, it's more just a defense n neutralization. But it still should be a two-shot. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? God darn it. Okay, if I can get a defense drop now, then it actually will be a drop. <laughs> ay yeah, ay, ay. Headbutt! <laughs> Here's hoping Strength can kill it now! Yay! Woo! Almost a level up from Mulan. So, yeah, this gym introduces us to ice physics. 
Basically, once you start walking on ice, you're going to keep slipping in that direction until you hit the next set of solid land, and jinx! Woohoo! And level 28, too. Fortunately, Jinx was part Psychic type, so Shadow Ball is actually going. That is terrifying. That is legitimately terrifying. <laughs> Go die in a hole, please. Now, actually, I actually considered Jinx as a potential team member. I've used it a few times in this game. I actually really like using it, despite it coming on at a, um, despite joining really late. <laughs> It, right when you get it, it's only a, a level or so away from getting a really good Ice-type attack right before an area that is full of Pokemon weak to Ice, so it can play catch-up quite efficiently. And, though I honestly thought about using it on my team, I eventually decided against it because the Psychic attacks it would use are kind of going to be stepping on Apiley's foot later on, because Apiley is eventually going to start getting access to some psychic attacks later in the game. I Not for a little while, but I didn't want two Pokemon doing that. And... I don't know, I, it just, I couldn't quite slot it into my team as well with the rest of the Pokemon I wanted to use in this series. So, it didn't quite make the cut. Speaking of Pokemon that didn't make the cut, <laughs> one Pokemon I very almost I I very almost used. Yes, that is grammar. One Pokemon I was very close to using and even used in my like I I have said a couple times before that I attempted to record this Let's Play a while back. And I did a lot of things I didn't like and there were just problems with it. But one thing that I did and almost did in this one too. It just barely didn't make the cut. Even it was an even closer call than Jinx. Was the Pokemon known as Wobbuffet. A uh, series of veterans probably know what Wobbuffet is and might be laughing that I actually considered it as a team member. Oh my god, stop using Endure. Uh, for those who don't know, Wobbuffet can only attack with the moves Counter and Mirror Coat. Counter lets the enemy attack you first, and then deals damage equal to twice the damage dealt. Mirror Coat is the same thing, but for special attacks. It can only use those two moves for damage. It has Safeguard, which makes it immune to status conditions. And I don't remember its fourth move that it has at stock, but it will eventually get a move called Destiny Bond. I tried using it in a playthrough of my own one time, and quite enjoyed it. I actually got a lot of fun out of using it. You can get it as early as Goldenrod City, actually. Um... I opted to not use it in the series of those, because while I had a lot of fun, it is a very chancy luck-based Pokemon to use, and I felt like that luck would be more of an annoyance than, an, than something that was actually fun in the Let's Play, so I ultimately opted to not use it in the series. <laughs> But it is worth playing around with. I actually got quite a bit of fun out of it. Um, by grinding coins at the game corner, you can eventually buy a Wobbuffet for 1,500 coins. Kind of pricey, but you can. And I probably should show off the game corner at some point. But that will have to wait. Nice time for a crit. <laughs> Not as necessary, but okay, sure. Olive's oh, almost level 30. Now, if... 
This gym can be a bit tricky to figure out, but once you know it, you know it. <laughs> and I am going to lead this fight with Olive. <laughs> Seventh gym. Which, strangely enough, has lower levels than the gym before it. The seal is level 27, after the last gym leader had two level 30s and a level 35. <laughs> Why it's like this, I haven't the slightest clue. Wow, Olive, you're really nailing out those criticals. Or hammering out those criticals, I should say. Dugong. This thing, it showed how tough it can be. I want to use a pint leaves on this. <laughs> it likes to use rest to put itself to sleep anyway, so. <laughs> Why not expedite the process? You like snoozing so much? <laughs> Hope you have sweet dreams. I think it resists flying, so I'm gonna go for Swift. I think Ice resists flying. I'm actually not 100% sure on that. Um, uh, I'll use Fly next turn just to test my theory. If it doesn't die to the uh, Nightmare this turn. Nope, just barely not. Okay. It's obviously going to kill. The question is, is it super effective? Well, I know it's not super effective. It wasn't resist- Wasn't resisted. Okay, it is neutral. Price is Ace. Pile of Swine. I'm going to let Thresh do this. Fun fact about Pile of Swine and its pre-evolution uh, Swine Up. Uh, first of all, her Ace is four levels weaker than the last train- uh, Last <laughs> Gym Leader's Ace, so that's great. But fun fact about- <laughs> Swine of the Pile of Swine is that they are the only family in the game weak to all three starting types. Its ground ice combination leaves it weak to fire, water, and grass type attacks. No other Pokemon in the game <laughs> has all three of those weaknesses. And I think, I could be wrong about this, but I think that even to this day, with over 800 Pokemon in the modern games, I think that is still still the case. Only one new Pokemon has since been added with this type combination, and it's an evolution of Piloswine. So it's part of this, so it's, that still remains unique to this family. With that, Piloswine goes down. TM-16 <laughs> Contains Icy Wind, deals damage, and can lower speed. <laughs> I'm actually curious if anyone on my team can learn that. I honestly don't know. Oh yeah, we got Hidden Power as well. What?! <laughs> okay, I was expecting Thresh to be able to learn that, not Mulan. That's, um... I don't think I'm going to teach it that, because that's not a very good... And Mulan, Mulan's a physical attacker, so that's not really going to be very good on it, but that's kind of funny that it can learn that. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Elm is calling us. <laughs> How are things going? I called because something weird is happening with the radio broadcasts. Not again. We just fixed that. They were talking about Team Rocket. Do you know anything about it? Maybe Team Rocket has returned. No, that can't be true. Sorry to bug you. Take care. Oh boy, I guess we should probably check the radio again. No weird broadcasts here. Oh, 
Oh, now Bueno's password's available, and of course I can't listen to it. <laughs> That's kinda creepy. But, we're probably going to go investigate that in the next episode. However, before we end this one off, our Pokémon are almost close to level 30. <laughs> one of them is level 30 and the rest are level 29, so I'm going to do a little bit of grinding to get everyone up to level 30, and then I say we pay a visit to the Battle Tower. Because <laughs> now that our team is almost a uniform level, we can actually challenge them. That man is gone now, and we can actually explore this route, so... We'll explore it this way a little bit and get some experience from the trainers out this way. Psychic Phil sent out Natu! Almost a two shot. I'm pretty sure you can find Natu in the grass here. This is the area I was thinking of when I said you could find Natu later in the game. Um, I think I'm correct about that anyway. Kadabra. Uh, yeah, I'll just let a Pileus fight this. Future Sight. That will cause an attack to hit two turns later. It's kind of weak in this game, got a lot better in later games. But it didn't have an attack, it didn't have, it didn't have, it didn't have a chance to use the attack. And, man, everyone's just talking to us. What is this? A Max Repel, that's useful. And what's up here? A Burnt Berry. <laughs> that will cure freezing, if that should happen to occur. Now, we are back in Olivine City. So with our whole team level 30, we can challenge the Battle Tower. Deposit Pokemon and only have three, so let's see who do we want to use in this fight. I definitely want to use a Pileas. I'm probably going to lead with the Pileas because regardless of what the enemy sends out, I can use Sleep. Um, I think we use a Pileas, Mulan, and Crystal because Mulan's generally decently powerful and can handle most situations neutrally, and Crystal has a wide variety of attack types. So, I think that combination will be good. <laughs> Alright, I just have to deposit the others. <laughs> deposit Thresh, Olive, and Mrs. Cutter. No, not a Pileys. And now, Battle Tower welcomes you. I can show you to a battle room. Would you like to want to go to a battle room? Yes. <laughs> Level thirty.
These battles are very tough. <laughs> they say you have to beat seven in a row. I've never gotten past the second fight. <laughs> These fights are more designed for you to challenge in the after game. Sawyer. Yes, Blissey. <laughs> These fights are designed more for the after game. Where you have, like, really good Pokemon. I missed. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I rem There's a few presets of trainers you can encounter. I remember this Blissey. This Blissey defeated my entire team single-handedly the last time I tried to play this. Or not the last time I played it, but the last time I encountered this Blissey. It defeated my entire team single-handedly. Blissey has a boatload of health and really good special defense, but its physical defense amounts to a wet paper towel. Hit it with physical attacks and don't... Don't try to use special attacks. So what I'm going to do here is while it's asleep, I'm going to hope it stays asleep for a while, and I'm going to try to get a rollout combo going. It does have the reflect up, but like you saw, oh yeah, and it has leftovers. That's just great. I'm gonna hope it woke up first turn. No, well second turn. But I was really hoping to get this thing down before it inflicted toxic. Oh right. What the fuck am I talking about? It has protect. Why would I use a rollout on something that has protect? I'm an idiot. <sighs> oh, and it has soft boiled to heal. So yeah, reflect, soft boiled, protect, and toxic. It doesn't even have an attacking move. Please don't go for Reflect. Actually, it's probably gonna- yeah, it's gonna protect this turn. Damn it, I'm ah. <laughs> I hate this Blissey so much. I hate this Blissey so much. <laughs> Maybe I can poison it? This thing is an absolute bitch. Okay. Let's try Mulan. <laughs> Has Rock Smash. And it uses Toxic. I do have milk drink, but... Well, I guess if nothing else, I can use milk drink to end eggs... <laughs> demonstrate... Oh, of course I get the double protect off. I can use milk drink to demonstrate just how dangerous Toxic can get. <laughs> okay, the Reflect faded away. There we go. Even then, that didn't do that much damage. And it puts a Reflect up. Okay, it's probably going to use Protect this turn. So I'm going to use Milk Drink. Yes! I predicted correctly. I have some friends who are particularly unfond of a certain Umbreon that I use in competitive battling. And they're probably loving seeing this. They're probably just getting a kick out of seeing... Because <laughs> my Umbreon has pretty much the exact same moveset. Uh, Moonlight instead of Soft Boiled, but basically the same thing. It's a self-healing move. It's got Toxic Protect, and then it has a move called Substitute in place of Reflect. Which what Substitute does is sacrifices a quarter of your health <laughs> to make a dummy that can take hits for you. And while that dummy's out, you're immune to status conditions. 
it will last until it takes damage equal to that that you sacrificed to create the dummy. Okay, at this point, I'm just going to spam Milk Drink just to show the damage, because I know I'm not going to be able to kill this thing. There's a few different presets. <laughs> I just had to get the most difficult one. Now, you can see, Toxic is doing a lot of damage really quickly. does more and more damage each turn. <laughs> I can't even fully heal off the damage it deals. And now I get the defense drop, of course. <laughs> One good thing to note, though, is that switching out causes the damage to reset. Like, you don't heal, but it makes the, like, the progressive increase in damage reset back to the first turn. <laughs> so you can mitigate it by switching out, but in a situation like this, there's only so much you can do. Is going down next turn. Moral of the story just because you can challenge the battle tower doesn't mean you should. 